eight miles to the east of whatever that is. The shepherd watches as she prepared the leaves and roots that she th you would require. He watched as the hours dragged by, the sun set, and she worked by candlelight, at times sitting still, at times moving like a dancer among the stones. The change happened suddenly, but also subtly, so that at first the watcher was not sure that anything had happened. Then he saw it. Eight miles to the east of what? The Great Oak, maybe? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nothing. Well, then what did that... What does this symbol mean? If it's not the Great Oak, what is it? <coughs> As much as I'd like to serve customers here, I get the impression that I'm going to need to find whatever this plant is first. any symbols about like trees or forest or anything I have no idea what the symbol even means do with what I have for now. <coughs> well, I went and ate those building mushrooms. And of course, now he's sick. Is there anything we can do? He's in a bad way and I'm worried about him. Which one of these plants can heal the sick? Does sound familiar. Candlewood's about mental afflictions. Uh, Trails is for eye strain. something. Wait a minute. Gandhi roots. Digestive troubles. I, I used that once before. What did it look like? Oh, here it is. So he isn't sick from something he ate, even though he is sick from something he ate. Thank you. 
another plan for gastric distress. have any more plants that can cure st stomach sickness that I know of. What's this? Pedersen's got to feel fungi in their antidotes. Spring wax cap. Something sometimes fatal. Can be cured by taking hop heart boiled in vinegar. I don't think I identified spring wax cap, but I think I think that's what he ate. Unless it's actually farmer's worry, which Wait a minute. It is farmer's worry. Spongy mushroom. And this mushroom was described as spongy, the, this one here. So we ate that. Royal gentia. What did that look like again? Uh, oh, it's the... Stone, causing this bad fight. When handling this plant, do a strong paralyzing agent contained within. Liverstone is a mushroom with pointed caps. Well, so is that glowing one. It doesn't describe the smell anywhere. Where, where did I put that mushroom? Oh, here. you're in one piece even though <coughs> you're missing an eye. I have been to Black Coom. I have fought the servant live but my adversary stands. It must be defeated. For that part I am for my part I am ashamed to say that I'm I'm done. And I could use the talk of St. Quentin's elixir if I'm ever to recover from the horror I have seen. Let me see. Um I did brew some up. Here we go. Priddle, covered by rich, pretty priddle is uh, coveted by the rich. Pretty priddle is crushed to make dyes. This is a very rare plant that is hard to come by and requires great care to cultivate. This map location. 
Eight miles to the east. How can that not be the great, uh, that big oak tree? Unless there's another symbol here. symbol even be. No idea. I was hoping he'd show up. There's a hateful man I sometimes see around town. He's called Isor Burry. Burbage. Yesterday I saw him bending down as a pedestrian dog, but instead he punched it as hard as he could. I rushed over and the coward fled. Someday he'll get his comeuppance. Sad Guild Chalice. Another encoded location. Here we go. The chalice takes me directly to the south of Sadgill to a spot next to the river. Moss covered rocks line the banks, velvet to the touch. In the moist conditions, a deadly looking plant grows abundantly in the lush grass. Oh, that, looks like, that looks like a Venus flytrap. But it doesn't look like any of the plants I need for for the combination anywhere. And it's not identified in It's not identified in my book either. Speaking of identifying things, um this is Farmer's Worry. Verona tells me you are working on gathering the plants for a ritual that will help us defeat this, this creature. I want to help in any way I can. From what Verona told me, I think this might be one of the plans to perform a ritual, but I'm afraid I don't know where it can be found. A swift snare. The binder ankle graver never let go are several of the names given to this plant that may give some clues to its properties. Once ensnared, it's impossible to extricate oneself without help. Swift snare has small, heart-shaped leaves, and I'm almost positive I found it somewhere. Wait a minute. Never mind. It's not that one. It's a plant with small heart shaped leaves. I don't have that many. Wait a minute. Is this it? about getting trapped in this plant, but it's not...
this whole day over again. Fetty is Cornwall. Read somewhere about a plant that'll lead to the gold. Maybe. There's drooping white flowers and frill leaves. Yes, I know where it is. Um, it starts with W. Leaping Bell. Yeah, here it is. Find those. Do I even have a plant with them anywhere? I'm gonna guess no, otherwise somebody would say, hell oh, hey, you've got this plant. Possibly. I don't have that many plants with small leaves. I can't help noticing that Dreher Huntsman is still alive. You don't seem to understand the importance of our work here. If you're not with us, then you are against us. Then, when the redemption comes and it will come, you will regret your actions. Praise the Dendron. I only knew what this symbol meant. If it's not the Great Oak, what is it? 